And first, I'm gonna uh, switch to a roto section and track this part of t shirt. I add the square. And use the tracker. You see many types of uh, trackers. The planner, the point tracker. I use the mocha tracker. This is very uh, powerful tracker. And in pre-processing section you see the parameters. You can blur, sharp or contrast uh, the image the noise, it changed the gamma. I changed a little bit to get more contrasty image and uh, start to track it. Okay, now track is ready. And when I hit this nice magic button, you see the stabilized image. And time to switch to paint module. In here, you have fantastic options to do your paint. And in this case, I use the clone node and start to work. In view options, you can find the fantastic options. You can change your outputs. You can see your color or detail layer. Now, time to auto paint. You see my strokes. In transform section, I change to a layer. Uh, this is the track layer and you can change the name and uh, you see in paint module automatically the name is changed. Make sure to check this box, select this line and start to process. And you see how the silhouette paint plugin absolutely rebuild the t-shirt and it's incredible when i finished the work i exit the plugin save and everything is ready in flame now Time to compare these two outputs. I think this is a great result. Now another paint work. In this time I want to use visual effects uh, in paint model. I do the same operation, I launch the Silhouette Paint plugin. And create a new project. And you see these soldiers, I want to uh, change these uh, eyes uh, to red eyes. For that I start to track the first eye, this is a second soldier, and now I want to paint first eye. I use tracker, in this case most optimal is mocha tracker. This is a backward tracking, and you see our first layer start to track. And I 
stop uh, the track because our area is over. We need to track uh, this manually. For that I delete unused keys and add animation. You see the uh, transform option and uh, we have anchor point, position and scale. I change the position. the final final key okay I think that's good when I play you see our image is very stable and static it's stabilized and of course after doing the same operation on the second eye I uh, start to paint uh, the red eyes and I do this uh, for each eye individually okay now I change the color to red and when you hit the control button and change the cursor the size is changed of course, I change opacity, softness, and start my paint. You need to do very accurate. Okay, after that I start to blur these uh, contours. Once again I use the paint and create a little gradient because I don't want it to be flat. You can do these steps as many times as you want. The silhouette paint brought new possibilities. And of course you can use not only in Flame. This plugin you can use in DaVinci, in uh, After Effects and many other softwares. Now our guy becomes a cyborg. Now I add another layer. And start to work on the second eye. Okay, now I finish the work and I start to prepare to auto track, auto paint. Firstly, I process first eye, I change the tracker to my B1 and start to match move and you see how the silhouette paint frame by frame analyzes and rebuilds the painted work and after the processing I enjoy this rendered image really cool result now time to send back in flame And I play it in flame smoothly. You see the difference? And of course another cool thing, uh, you can use the alpha information from the silhouette. And of course you can use the brushed or uh, painted uh, alpha output and use it on your compositing works. Now the demonstration when I add the color correction node and connect to alpha output you can change your color separately from image. You can add the blur 
add the motion blur or anything uh, what you want. Now time to show how you can clean up uh, and make some beauty forks. Now I want to show how you can use this plugin on timeline. In this case I use the timeline fix and start to clean this scar. The silhouette paint is very powerful uh, for this kind of work. I create the tracker. I take big area of this cheek because the girl is moving her head and we have some deformations uh, when the stabilize the image. I use this all in parameters and start to track. You see Mocha Tracker has done incredible job. Start to track backward and our track is ready. Good job. Now time to use the paint. And in this case I start to uh, use the clone node. And you can use color information, details information to clone uh, paint or blur your object and this is the new algorithm and uh, let's give the fantastic result I think that's enough for demonstration and it's very good result again I uh, select my layer and you see the paint I change my transform parameter and start to match move and now see the difference and use this technique. 